Hello everyone, it's Gwethorn from Gwethorn's Games and today I'm going to be running the free to play champion and I'm going to be running in Horde Bellendil. I'm going to run the set at five levels below me and let's get into it. Characters currently running through Moria. The Lords of Umbar. Sorcerers trained by Sauron, the great necromancer, seek to bring terror to a Numinas by raising the long dead remains of Valandil, third king of Arnor as a terrible white. Only the most courageous of the free peoples will be able to put an end to their evil deeds. Okay, so the Delving Stone's only for level 150 characters, but this is uh, can, can be run that way. Um, now, the character itself, I'm running Blue Line. Um, I've made sure I've got Battle Frenzy and I've got uh, Second Wind sitting in there as well. So, other than that, everything. So, I've upgraded to level 50 gear from the Skirmish Camp. Okay, so we've got priceless relics to pick up. Okay, that's fair enough. That's the extra quest. Now, I can run this blue line but I might just choose to run it yellow for a fair amount just to, just to see how we go but let's get this thing started so I think blue line's going to be fairly straightforward so I might be able to get rid of some trash mob with the yellow line instead I think that's probably true. Okay, so let's flip over the yellow line. Okay, so again, I've managed to get second wind in there, but uh, it, it's pretty much a straightforward yellow line build. Okay, so let's go for it. Now, these uh, Limrafen Limrafen if you don't get them immediately, their champion will turn up. So, definitely need to get rid of that as quick as possible. That's the main reason why I would actually choose to run yellow line is to get rid of those. Okay, so let's start working our way around. There's a little bit more DPS being done by this. Now, the aim is you have to open up all of the... Uh, you have to open up all of these areas that have previously been opened. There will be a elite in here that you have to take care of. We'll see whether the character itself is going to be able to do that. Yeah, it looks like yellow line should be fine. Okay, so there's some priceless relics to pick up as well. And then I'll do the beacon. So there, there are already two beacons in this that have have not been broken into so they don't count but you have to basically do this area um, before you can move on to the first boss so i like going around clockwise but starting off with this one okay so that's three okay let's go i've got to get rid of this Okay, got it quickly. That's good. Um, I probably... There's probably a bit of dread, so I do actually have a token that I can use. relatively quickly. No, oh, drop that. Didn't get it immediately. Right, you're right. 
to be a little bit more careful with those because no, you don't really need to fight them. There's no actual advantage, there's no Slayer Deeds for them. So let's go around. If you don't get these, they, the Crypt Invokers will come down, will try and run and collect them and pick them up so that they actually have... Okay, that's gone. So as you can see, this one's still in place, so you don't have to do that one. But there we go. Okay, got rid of that. There are Slayer Deeds in, in, in these, the Crypt Ravagers, and they, they do occasionally drop um, the quest in here is occasionally for those. And that one's, that one's okay too. few more so they will run away when they're when they're on low health and try and get yeah see they've both run to, to pull aggro yeah which is, as i said this is what they want to do this light gets it off immediately Some more. The rest the way. Okay, so that took a lot of power. Power's being drained. I don't have second wind. I don't have five further. Okay, but this one's open, so I do have to take it. Okay, they're gone. Now we've got oh, the delete. So yeah, you have to go around and do all of these. Um, make sure you've got the six. Relics one on here. Their uh, reward is reputation, and I don't have this. I don't have the reputation with this, with that faction yet. So I will get those. Okay. Four, I think. Move that. Yep, that's four. Um, I'll also show you the uh, traits that I'm using. them quick. I will be coming down here later but that is currently locked. You have to get all six of those to be able to open that. champion is that it does, does lose a lot of power. Okay, so we'll keep going. Yes, yeah, so that's that gate is locked at the moment. The idea is I'm going to have to open it. And I've got a couple, two more I think, just up here to get that open. Quick 
Without injuries. Take them out because I aggro them. Make sure they don't run after something else. Taken that one out. Managed to grab that one as well, which is good. And what's in here? Okay. I still need to take out the elite as a priority. Now the main problem that there is with this with this instance is that there's a lot of damage reflection that goes on um, with the with the future bosses. Okay, so I'll actually bring up the traits. They're running around 24 of 25 for, for the vast majority of aggressive traits, which is good. This, this character really needs as many virtue traits as you can get away with. And let's go in and grab this last one. Oh, I've got a bit of lag going on. Okay, that's the way of it. Not the best thing to have, but... Here's the elite from here, from this one. Well, I managed to do that, managed to do this part of it in yellow line, which is good. The nice thing about the, the level 50 gear from the skirmish camp is that it, it, it does have some nice bonuses when it's all added together. Some good parry, vitality, might, things like that. I've actually got some slightly better gear in some of those slots, but I've wanted all of the extras. All of the set bonuses. Okay, so this is the last of the beacons. Okay, so the gates to the upper levels are open, so I will go back to those. I'm going to have to take this one out. Okay, you, you probably heard me hit that key a long time before it actually triggered. And this is just the way it's going at the moment, but I will kick over to now yeah, this gate should be open yeah okay so you can oh, I've got a little bit of lag coming as well okay let's go in through here well, there's a couple of things on the way up so I won't swap to blue line yet Just not getting those properly, which is rather unfortunate. But, you know, it is a six player instance and I am running it solo, just five levels down, so it's not too bad. Okay, so we have the next set of bosses and I am going to have to flip over to blue line for those. I just 
don't have enough healing to be able now this this uh, shin grinder is going to knock me back if I'm not careful there it goes so just have to make sure you don't get knocked off But other than that, you shouldn't have any real problems with it. Just make sure when you get knocked back, you don't fall off the, the area. Okay, good. Now there's going to be things coming at me. And these do damage reflection, so this is going to be problematic. the aim at for the first group the aim of the first group is to get get up to him he will run away which is good okay so he is now run away and if you do, if you stay back and just hit those they will continue just attacking you so yeah run right up to him Okay, so now we have the next group. Again, it's going to start coming at you. And this time it will be a set number. S starts off singly. I will back up at times just to, to get myself a little bit more. Sauron's going to be a bit stronger. It'd be nice if I had better. It'd be nice if I had better dread control, more hoped, but that, that's it's a free-to-play character. It's not going to be particularly strong. I don't have a jeweler. When it goes, starts going to twos then I will actually have to start doing some more active damage control. At the moment, bubble should be sufficient. So there, there are slayer deeds to get from this, so it's, it's worth running. Um, it's actually part of the weekly... Um, there we go, we're starting to get some extras. I think it goes up to three before it stops. Okay, production, bubble. Okay, so, yep, okay, good. It didn't have to go up to three. Okay, so I'll let that health come back. Okay, the next group is the next stage. There are going to be three whites run at me and then a whole lot of skellies. They will run at me, so I'm gonna back right up because there's just a lot of them. Stun's as good as damage reduction. Okay, so that's the first lot. Now there is going to be a second lot. 
We can actually open this wooden chest now. Okay, just more gold, nothing much. We shouldn't, there's, there's not going to be much that's. Okay, now we've got the next lot. And uh, we'll get the bubble going. Reductions, please. Fun, but should be okay. Dying need might be necessary. Yep. So there's damage reflection. You can see there's damage reflection coming through all the time on this. But okay, we're now now down to the last of the bosses. There's some priceless relics around here. I'll just pick those up and, and finish out the... I think I might only get 14 if I do these. You see some of these are... Okay, I think there might be one on the other side, but we're down to the last boss. Now, there are going to be two characters that need to be taken. Um, you take the main one first it will stun you um, so you, you need to make sure that uh, you've got some kind of stun removal I don't think you can actually I, I think it might not be able to be blocked um, but yeah I'm going to take this guy on Dolmathor is the, is the main one to attack the Valandil is, is not as important. I have Sauron going. Yeah, away. More damage reduction, please. Bubble as soon as I get the chance. Okay, we need to go do some healing at a time. Will get stunned. Yep, not much I can do about that. Yeah, I can't unstun it. But that's okay. Second win needed. It's damage reduction time. Bubble time. Okay, so he's gone. Which is that's the main threat gone. Let's go for a stun. Still got dire need. I will actually pop dire need. Got second wind so I can get my power back. And let's see if we can get this one done. But we are almost finished. Now, done. Now, for those that don't know, the when it tells you to restore the remains to peace, it really is as simple as picking up the ancient remains and running them five feet to there. That simple. Sometimes you just pick it up and you just run around with it and, and, until you know, you just pick it up and run around with it and it just, it really is five feet. Okay, so all gold coins that I picked up from those, but that is for Valandil. Thank you everyone for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye all. I actually let this go out of the instance, yeah. Cool. Okay. Catch you next time.